What's up guys, Alex is here, GuitarForest.com. Today we're going to take a look at The Core by Eric Clapton. This was uh, requested and supported by Robert, so big thanks goes out to him. And um, we're going to cover the rhythm guitar part in this uh, lesson and also the solo. The tabs are going to be available for downloads at GuitarForest.com. The link is going to be in the description box down below. Uh, this song is in standard tuning and uh, for the sound I was using the VST plugin guitar rig. And while you are checking out the picture of the preset, I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's go for the close-up and start this lesson. Alright, so the main riff of the song goes like this. Okay, so here we start off with the hammer on on the D string from open to the second fret. Then it's followed by quick low E string open. And then we play two notes on the second fret of the D string. And then we have a couple of options. First, you can play another open low E, and then it's followed by these two double stops. The first one is a part of the E major chord, but you concentrate mainly on D and the G strings here. So second fret on D, first on G, and then we have uh, the next double stop, which is part of sort of an A chord, um, which is again on the D and the G strings, but it's going to be on the second fret here. And if you get the A string open in there, it's totally fine. So like that. So that's the first part, one more time, slowly. Now the second option, which is uh, just a slight variation, but still you can use it. When you play this part up until here, instead of playing the low E again, you can play kind of open, open strings or fretting that second fret on the D string and uh, playing the G string open before going to the uh, the double stops. But it's, you know, it's uh, played really fast so it doesn't really make a, that much difference. It's kind of like on the on the up stroke that you get, you know, before hitting this uh, double stop, you can play these strings. Or, like I said, with the open low E. Or like that. Then the second part we have again uh, this um, hammer on up until here, and then we have open D string, and then we go and play pull off from the A from the fifth to the fourth fret to the open on the A string, and then we have open second frets and hit it one more time on the on the same string on the A. So we have this. So you get this double note here when you play open D here and then you know starting playing from the fifth fret it's the same the same note. So these are the two parts that are played during the main riff. So one more time slowly goes like this. Okay, so that riff we play, like I said, it's a main riff of the song, so it's played during the verses and so on. And then the second part that we have is uh, playing uh, these chords. Okay, so here we have just four chords going on, and the first one is... Uh, now, again, there are a couple of ways how you can play it. So basically, it's the E going to B, and then we have D to A. 
way and as you can see I'm using this shape of the chord the E you know just for um, you know just for variation you can use different voicing if you want to so here I'm playing this shape of of the D but I'm moving two frets up so this is an E chord it's it, it's a part of an E chord and then I'm playing the B like that just these strings without the the root note here okay and then you do the same shapes uh, when you when we move down to the D okay so like I said you can use it here E to B as you can see it's a different sound and then playing D to A and uh, the same you can do here and the structure wise uh, you know how it goes so we played I think for three times between these chords then you stay on uh, D to A for three more times then you return to the E to B and then we go into the next section which goes like this so here we have uh, two parts going on the first one this part where we play uh, hammer on from second to the fourth fret on the A string, then we play second on D, and then we get back to the A string playing pull off four to two. So we have this, and then we have single notes here on the G string, which is on the fourth fret, second, and first. And between these um, notes, we have kind of little rests or you can play them as a staccato meaning short notes and then we play first chord is going to be A kind of let it ring out then we repeat the first part and second time we're going to play E major and then basically we repeat the two parts together And then the last time, up until this moment, and then we get back to the main riff again. Okay, so these are the three main parts of this song for the rhythm guitar. Alright, so the next part is going to be the solo, and what we're going to do, we're going to break it up into licks and phrases. And um, although there are some phrases that are quite long, but I'm going to try to break them up into parts as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to call out every string and every fret um, because you can see them on the tablature. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play each lick and phrase separately so you can actually hear and see what's going on. And you can follow the tab and then play along with that. So the f uh, and uh, the whole thing is based on the E minor pentatonic. So it's nothing too complicated here. So the first phrase goes like this slowly. One more time. Then we have a little rest here, and then we go into a kind of longer phrase, but it goes like this. So that's the first part. In the beginning we have a rake and a uh, rake going into the bend right away on, on the G string. Then the second part. One more time. Then we have the next part. So here we have uh, six of these. Okay, these elements. And then we, uh, after the two bands, we have another uh, 
uh, pattern, another part of it, which is uh, kind of the same, but we play five times. The first time it's quite fast, and then we have like that. So it's five of these. And then we're going to So this long phrase, um, I'm going to play it through all together, starting with the rake, goes like this, slowly. part is uh, quite fast but slowly it goes like this slower okay next part time next phrase so here we are fretting 19th on the high E and we are bending 19 on the B and we do it for eight times Next part. Next lick. So here we have a band. It's a two step band. And then we go into. One more time. Slow. Next part. One more time. And the last part goes like this. So when we get up to here to the 10th fret and we have bends, we have 7 of these, okay? Okay, so here is the whole solo slowly, all of the licks together, goes like this.
right, guys. So this brings us to the end of this lesson. Hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar-related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy. And as always, let the force be with you.